If you've been in the desktop 3D printing industry long enough, you've come across Anycubic. While they do have several different plastic-based FFF 3D printers, they really made their mark with the Anycubic Photon, a compact resin 3D printer at an affordable price not seen before in the resin 3D printer market. Nearly four years later, an Anycubic has an expansive array of desktop resin 3D printers to choose from, along with accessories to cater to the entire resin 3D printing process. The pros at Matter Hackers are here to help you break down the differences and find out which machine is right for you. Let's jump into it. The three Anycubic Photon Mono printers have similar functionality, but have enough unique features that each one can fill a different niche and perform better for you in one specific area or another. Between the three Anycubic Photon Mono models, the Mono, Mono SE, and Mono X, the Mono and Mono SE have comparable build volumes. They both have a build height of 130 millimeters, while the Mono is 78 millimeters deep and 165 millimeters wide, and the Mono SE is 80 millimeters deep and 160 millimeters wide. The Mono X is a different beast altogether and boasts a much larger build volume, 192 millimeters tall, 120 millimeters deep, and 245 millimeters wide. While this does mean that the Mono X has a larger footprint overall, if you're looking to create some seriously gargantuan resin 3D prints, the Mono X is the machine for you. What you need to consider is whether you need to print many small models or one large model, or print a handful of small models or prepare to cut a larger model into pieces in order to fit it on the build plate. The big draw for the Mono line of Anycubic printers is their monochromatic LCD screen that is part of the Mass Stereolithography Apparatus MSLA, system. This feature makes each layer cure over four times faster than previous models, and since it lets more light through, the LCD is absorbing less radiant heat so it lasts significantly longer as well. Across all three models, layer cure times are on average between 1 and 2 seconds, with the Mono SE having a slight edge due to its slightly stronger light matrix than the Mono. And despite the Mono X having a much stronger light matrix, over double the Mono SE's wattage, it has to light a much larger area as well, and results in cure times about the same as the Mono. As the Photon Mono SE is based on the form factor of the original Photon, it also uses the same leveling system as before. One screw on the build plate adjusts the ball and post that aligns the build plate to the vat. Both the Mono and Mono X instead have four mount screws that are used to hold the build plate in place for extra security. The actual leveling process is nearly identical for all models. Simply loosen the screw or screws, start the leveling wizard, which lowers the build plate, and follow along to have the ideal distance between the build plate and the vat. Remember, with resin 3D printers, you are dealing with incredibly fine layers, so any sort of skew or a poorly calibrated first layer distance doesn't have as much wiggle room for compensation like FFF 3D printers first layer. If you're looking to have an updated leveling system that gives you more control over your build plate's alignment, then the Mono or Mono X have the win in this category. The Anycubic Photon Mono SE is the only one of the bunch to have any sort of inbuilt filtration system. Two small fans in the corners of its interior push air through a filter to remove any sort of stinky odor that's common with 3D printing resin. Unless, of course, you're using epoxy-free MH build resin. It's subtle, but you will notice an improvement to the air quality of your workspace with this feature. If your environment isn't compatible with an unfiltered machine, the Photon Mono SE is the choice for you. It might surprise you to consider that the form factors of each printer do have some effect on their usability. The Anycubic Mono and Mono X each have a single piece tinted acrylic lid, which works perfectly in all the ways they're designed to operate, but since it needs to be removed completely in order to access the 3D print, build plate, or vat, you'll need to make sure you have the vertical clearance to do so. However, by removing the lid, you do have full access to the build plate from all sides, which does make it easier to view your progressing 3D print or reach into the build chamber for any sort of cleaning or even something as simple as pouring in more resin between prints. In contrast, the Anycubic Photon Mono SE has the front and top separate from the sides, so it hinges up like this and minimizes the vertical clearance necessary. This does mean that it is a little harder to reach into the chamber to clean anything up, but the lid is never removed and you won't need to set it anywhere while you work, making this choice a trade-off between usability for your workshop space and the usability of the 3D printer's interior space. It may come as a surprise at how affordable these machines are for what they do, but it would be quite easy to build out a print farm using any cubic 3D printers or be able to dip your toe into the 3D printing waters without a huge monetary commitment. One might consider the Anycubic Photon Mono SE to be the mid-tier model that has a couple extra features that the other two don't, but the main draw of the Mono or the Mono X is price and size, respectively. Interestingly enough, if you're weighing between the Mono and Mono X, you could buy three Monos for the price of a Mono X. So if you're looking to produce a lot of small prints or need to produce one big print, 
That fact alone might help you narrow down your options. This is a must buy no matter the Anycubic Photon Mono you choose, or resin printer in general. For a time, most post-processing solutions for resin 3D printing wasn't a fully controlled process. Usually, it was a bit of buying some plastic containers and UV lamps and crafting your own cleaning station. But with the Wash and Cure Station 2.0, you can place the entire build plate, print and all, right into the container of isopropyl alcohol, turn it on, and let it swirl the alcohol around the print, clearing off any uncured resin. When it's done, you can pop off the finished print, replace the alcohol container with the turntable piece, and post cure the 3D print in the same footprint. It may not seem like much, but as someone that has done a lot of resin 3D printing without it, it has been nice to be able to take care of my resin prints mess free. Anycubic is an established company in the resin 3D printing space, synonymous with quality and affordability. If I've done my job today, you should have a better idea of which machine is right for you and your projects. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Matter Hackers YouTube channel, and to learn more and order your resin printing platform today, go to matterhackers.com.